Hi friends, we are going to be going over the base 10 place value system in a little bit more detail using base 10 blocks like we did yesterday when we talked about the value of a digit in a specific place value such as if you have a 4 in the ones place it is going to be one tenth of a 4 in the tens place because it is one space to the right. So it's one tenth. So we are going to be filling out these here, which basically says, as we move to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, um, then you multiply it by 10 each time. Okay. So if I start here and I multiply one thousandth to get one thousandth it is one ten thousandth times ten okay one ten thousandth would be the one over here but we don't have it this one one hundredth is the one thousandth times ten this one I multiply it by ten is one hundredth times 10 is a tenth. This one here to get one is one tenth times 10. A 10 is one times 10. A hundred is 10 times 10. So it's the place next to it times 10. A thousand is the hundred times 10. The 10,000 is the thousands times 10. And I could keep going. The 100,000 is 10,000 times 10. Okay, so each time I move. So if we look here, this is a base 10 block. One small block is one. We have 10 on top. We have one block. We multiply it by 10 and we have 10. That's exactly what this says. Same thing. I have 10 of these and I get 100. I put 10 of these together and I get 1,000. I put 10 of these cubes together and I'll get 10,000. Now let's go on the other side over here. Just one little piece over here is a tenth, which is one out of ten. One tenth, one out of ten. A hundredth is one little piece out of a hundred. One hundredth, one out of a hundred. And a thousandth is one little piece out of a thousand. One out of a thousand. So that's what these are showing us just an illustration so we can visualize it in our mind. Now this is how we write these or these numbers. One and then we have point one which is one tenth. Why do I write it like that? Because it is right one decimal place neck or one place value next to the decimal. I do a hundred here because it's over two place values so I have to have somewhere where that zero goes. And this is 1,000th and it's three place values over. So we have to fill it in with the zeros. That's why they're over that way. Kind of like, just like here. I move it over this way and I have a zero. I move it over this way, I add another zero, another place value. Okay. Okay. So this is called a, this would be 10 cubes. This is called a cube. This is called a flat. The names of these things. This is a long. And this is one unit. One tenth of a unit. One hundredth 
and one thousandth. That's what you would call those these pieces here. Let's see if I can fit one thousandth. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go the other direction. What happens if I get smaller? If I get smaller, I'm going to the right. I have to multiply it by a fraction because I'm finding a piece of, a fraction of. So that is why I have to multiply it by a tenth because it's getting smaller. And when I multiply by a fraction, it makes something smaller. So we're going to multiply it by one tenth each time because 10,000 is one tenth of, oh wait, I already had one tenth. 10,000 is one tenth of 100,000 because 100,000 would be over here. 1,000 is one tenth of the one to the left one where I started. Okay, so if I want to say what is the value of 100 compared to 1,000? I'm moving to the right, so it's one-tenth. It is one-tenth of a thousand. Okay, the next one. 10 is one tenth of 100. One is one tenth of 10. One tenth is one tenth of one is next to it. One hundredth is one tenth of what's next to it? One tenth. One thousandth is one tenth of what's next to it? One hundredth. So each move to the right is one tenth or times one tenth the value of the previous place, which is where it moved from. So if I want to say, how is the hundreds place compared to the ones place? Okay, well I go one tenth and one tenth. So that's one hundredth. It is one hundredth. One is one hundredth of a hundred. So now we're going to go over comparing value, comparing values, and which value is larger. For example, if I have a five in the hundreds place and the ones place, which one is larger, which one is smaller? And also, how does the tenths place compare with the hundreds place? Well, the tenths place is one, two, three, 1,000, we move three places, so three zeros, 1,000 times the tenth. So we're gonna do some examples with Mrs. Sirota before we do some practice on our own. 